position, as we've kind of mentioned in the last half hour, is there is a housing shortage across the country. Yeah. And with Phoenix's population boom, it's certain there is one locally. So um, you've been a part of some affordable housing transitions um, or conversions as well as transitional homes. So right. A, if you could talk a little bit about that, and then also what defines a transitional home. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so as, as we see here in Phoenix, I mean, there's uh, a problem that we have downtown. So the city was actually sued um, by the locals, like the business owners, because of the camps that they're allowing out there. So this is actually happening right now, and I think it's supposed to be cleaned out in like, the next two weeks. So now there's like cities and nonprofits that are going after the funding to try to buy hotels or other multifamily units to house all of these. Homeless. So one that we did, me and Ryan just closed with the city of Phoenix was the Super 8 off I-17 in Northern. Um, another one was the Days Inn on Van Buren, which that's going to be for homeless housing and it should open hopefully first quarter of next year. What they look for typically is, I mean, the nonprofits for homeless housing, uh, interior or exterior corridor, um, doesn't really matter, and as small as 25 units, right? They just want to put heads in beds pretty much and get people off the streets. How are they managing that? Like, is there a government agency that is then checking people in and out? Um, like, what is the transactional mm-hmm. piece of that once the city takes it over? So they call it bridge housing. So these aren't people that aren't strictly off the street. Um, what they do is they'll help them find jobs and then house them as well. So it's more like a temporary stay for maybe three to six months until they can get on their feet. So they just keep doing that process every three to six months. Um, and this is a super touchy subject um, mm-hmm. that you're making me think of, is I read in the news over the last two years that California was trying to strong arm hotel owners into reporting, and someone here might know better, but in the, you know, I, I'm making the number up, but by 5 p.m., all the hotels within a five mile radius of downtown San Francisco have to report to a central agency to say, how many available rooms they have, and then the county was gonna stick homeless people in them. Is mm-hmm. that even on the radar here? You know, is it a possibility? Is our government going that route? I think it's on the radar, and I think, you know, some of our, you know, politicians locally are kind of pushing against that. Um, Cause they, what, what they have in California is like a voucher program essentially. So it's either section eight or it's homeless housing where they can just go up to the hotel and say, this voucher's worth $80, you have to give me a room essentially. So I don't think it's here yet. Uh, let's hope it doesn't happen here, but it could be on the radar. So yeah. I have some insight. Yeah. That voucher program, it was a voucher to not to have the voucher, was passed by the state senate and state house, but the mayor vetoed it because she said that there was no reason to have this. So there's a possibility it could happen down in the future, but when, when the time came, and we did pass that cities were not allowed to have these voucher programs. The, the state and the house both defeated that. Uh, uh, they made that bill go up, but the mayor defeated it now. So in this moment, that should not be a concern of a hotel. Owner. Not right now. Okay. But there, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, um, there's a lot of voices and power behind not have this kind of program. Mm-hmm. Yes, I bet. No kidding. 